everyone, how's it going? It's that Nerd Ryan here. Welcome to the toy review of Star Wars The Black Series and or Imperial Officer Dark Times. So I did just realize it's kind of funny. Um, the Andor figures waves, I think it's number, this one's number two, and then number four is also Imperial Officer. That's why one says Dark Times, and the other one says Ferrix. So here he is in his uh, box, and he's got his blaster there as well and there's the side art and nothing on there and then it's number two and I'm not gonna read the bio because it is literally the same bio as every other uh, and or figure so yeah let's go ahead take him out of the box and see how he is alright and here he is out of the box so his accessory is this pistol here that you can give him in this hand sorry just gonna have him lay down for one second uh, but yeah, so you can hold his pistol there, and yeah, this figure's pretty cool. He's got all blue uh, for his thingamabob there, for his uh, ranking. I think it's like a corporal or something, I'm probably wrong. can rotate him around like that just to show it off. I am curious to see if the hat is removable. It is not, because uh, some officers do, some don't. But yeah, I mean, for the sculpt, it's average Imperial officer garb, except for the cape. And then, I mean, you got like a nice little mustache and everything to give him some character, so he just doesn't look like every other Imperial guard, or Imperial officer. Um, and then the black looks nice too. Does come in just under six inches. Um, so average Star Wars figure size. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he's just very cool. Head can rotate 360, go up and down side to side. Arm can go out like so, and kind of like so, the cape does get in the way. He's got the elbow joint and swivel, um, the upper torso movement, which is very limited, it feels like. Legs can move like so. No, uh, oh yeah, there is a thigh swivel under there. Uh, knee joint, and then feet can move as well. So yeah, he's got usual movement on him, uh, and I mean, what can I say? This is a cool looking figure. I mean, I can't say more. It's The only complaint I have with uh, Andor figures is they do kind of look a little generic, but that's still not a complaint too, because sometimes you need the generic figures. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and follow me on all my social media down below. It's that Nerd Ryan signing off.